What is up everybody, it's CJ Plays here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview and today we're going to be looking at Volcano Land. So this is a world by Scenic Sims, I really hope that I pronounced their name right, but I saw this world over on their website and I was like, I need to see what this world looks like. The screenshots that I saw were so beautiful, I was like, I need to see. So I downloaded the world and I took out my lighting mod just so I could see how the world was kind of intended to look and I think it looks beautiful. So this world only requires you to have pets, Roaring Heights, which is a world on the Sims 3 store, and Island Paradise. And that's all that you need for this world. Now, as y'all can see, the world isn't super huge, but it looks like there's a good amount of space here. So I'm really eager to just see what it has to offer. So I think I'm going to start maybe like down here and we'll just kind of work our way around. Or honestly, let's start over here and we'll just go this way. So over here, we have the Crystal Beach. So let's check this out first. Okay, so we're down here at the Crystal Beach. I do see a pier that your Sims can walk on you know you can fish if you want to there is a subway object out here as well you have a lot of umbrellas and like rugs down here <laughs> um, and then of course you know you are at the beach so you know you can always do water activity and then you have this building so let's open this up for a second okay so it's empty on the inside maybe it's supposed to be decorative if you really have to you could always like you know edit this to have bathrooms be there or something else but I think that's pretty much everything for this lot though okay so now let's go over this way and we'll check out the boar sora sorababa hopefully i said that right okay y'all so we're down here at this lot and i see another subway object out here now there's also this building so i'm gonna go ahead and just open this up for a second so when you first come in there is a bar in the entryway it looks like you're gonna need the late night expansion pack because that is where the bar came from and these bar stools so you're gonna also need late night as well i guess those other packs are so the world can actually like run and function but it's looking like you're gonna also need late night by the way but you do have a bar when you first come in. You also have a shuffleboard object over here. You have a couple dartboards. You have some places to sit. And then there's like a bunch of tables in this corner. You're going to probably have to delete some of these or move them because I don't think there's any way that Sims can get through a lot of these. So you might have to like take some of these out. And then when you go over this way though, you have a dance floor. There's a jukebox. Over here in this corner, you have some instruments. So you have a drum set, a bass, a piano, and a keyboard. And that's pretty much everything everything for this lot also i just realized this too this jukebox i believe comes with showtime so that's another expansion pack you'll need so it's looking like you're gonna need two more expansion packs so far but let's just go ahead and keep moving on though so i'm gonna go over here this lot is just labeled memories so let's just see what this is okay y'all so we're down here now this lot is just titled memories so i don't really know what that means but let's just see what's here it looks like there's something inside of this dome oh you know what <laughs> i think i know so there are a couple of lots in the world of lunar lakes those lots have domes like this with little parks on the inside of them and a lot of those lots have like memories of appaloosa plains or memories of riverview or whatever so maybe that's what this lot was supposed to be a reference to i'm hoping um but inside of here though this looks like a little park section so you do have a bridge you have a pond there's also like a little area where you can come and eat there's a grill as well going over this way there's something down below so let's just like go all the way down so it leads you oh so basically what happens is your sims go down these steps they go down this hall and then they go up and then it actually allows them to come inside of the building okay i see <laughs> but that's pretty much it for the inside of this lot though you do have a couple of death flowers in here that there's like a lot actually so if you never need a death flower you could definitely come to this lot but i think that's like everything for this lot though okay so now let's go across the street so over over here we just have the park so let's check this out so down here at the park there is a pond you have a snow cone machine okay so the snow cone machine comes from seasons so that's another pack that you'll need you have a couple of these love seats out here over here we have a seesaw there's also a slide you have these spring rides these come from the town life stuff pack so that's another stuff pack that you'll need and then you also have this swing set and i think this one comes from the generations pack i want to say so that's a, another expansion pack that you'll need <laughs> over here you have a sandbox there's also like a little water sprinkler back here somewhere i don't know if you can actually use this one but there is a water sprinkler here I think there's actually two there's one here and I think it's the other one is like right there and then you are like right by the water so you could always swim if you need to hang out on the beach that kind of thing the water is just like so clear like I love the way it looks <laughs> okay well let's keep moving on so we have this little section over here 
This is the beautiful beach with the bridge, and then this is the wonderful beach. So I'm assuming they're like all kind of together. So I'm just going to scroll down and kind of look this way. Now, of course, we do have this bridge, but I don't know if there's like anything in the middle. I don't think so. I think it's just like a bunch of foliage and stuff like that. I guess you could add stuff out here. You mean, I mean, you are like right by the water. So I guess technically you can swim and stuff like that or fish if you need to. But I don't really think there's too much more in this little area. Okay, so let's keep moving on over here. So we have this lot. This is the subway station. Okay, well, it's listed as a fishing spot, so let's just check this out first. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you have, like, your subway right here. But you also have a fishing spot, so you can have your sims come out here to fish if you want to. It's very beautiful. I love, like, all the little plants and stuff like that and the rocks. Very beautiful. And then right beside it, we have this house. I mean, we might as well check out the house since we're so close to it anyway. Let's just go ahead and open it up. So when you first come inside the house, though, there is, like, a dresser and a nightstand. I don't know why, but I think sometimes when you download worlds and play them down sometimes objects can be like mismatched and moved i don't know what causes it and i don't know if that's the case for this but i'm pretty sure this is not supposed to be here so if you have a sim that lives here you might want to move these out the way but either way though you have a bedroom over here going over this way you have a pretty nice sized bathroom going over here you have a dining room there is also a kitchen and then you also have a living room as well uh you might want to move one of these couches because i don't know if a sim can squeeze through this so you might want to move some stuff and then also you might want to put some lights on the inside of this house too because it's a little bit dark and then going over this way you do have a nice pool section so you have some plants a nice pool a little place to sit you have like a little outdoor patio section with a little outdoor fireplace and you have a bar and grill as well so it's really nice out here but i think that's like everything for this house okay so now let's go right behind the house we have the modern gym let's check this out next Ooh, this is beautiful i love all these little plants and stuff around it i like this <laughs> okay well we're down here at the modern gym you even have like water out here too beside it that's kind of cool but let's just go ahead and open it up though so on the inside you have your treadmills these treadmills come from the high-end loft stuff so that's the stuff pack that you'll need you also have a couple of weight machines you might want to move these i know a sim could probably use one of them but i don't think two sims can use this at the same time so you might want to space these out a little bit you have some more treadmills over here as well and then back here this looks like a little yoga section there's also a stereo you also have a couple of pull-up bars over here as well a couple places to sit in the corner and then over here you just have more places to sit and then there is something down below so down below we have a jukebox you have some chairs and then you also have like a little underground pool which is really cute like i really like that but i think that's everything for this slide okay so now let's go across the street this is called the dark pool whoa they were not lion it is a dark pool <laughs> okay well we're down here at the pool lot you have some lounge chairs there is a couple of pool waterfalls there's a diving board and pool ladders but i think that's like everything for here look how dark blue the water is though like that was kind of cool <laughs> but i think that's like everything for here so now let's go over here this is just called the bookshop all right y'all so we're down here at the bookshop so this is listed as a library so i do see another pond out here as well and then of course you have your library so let's just open this up whoa y'all there's like a lot of books shelves <laughs> okay so when you come in there are plenty of bookshelves in here you also have a couple of computer desks over here as well you might want to put some lights on this lot because it's kind of dark but you do have computer desk and bookshelves in here but that's pretty much it for this lot though all right well that was the last community lot in the world so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the residential houses that we didn't see so the nearest one to us is this one over here i want to just see what this one looks like really quick this is like a nice little green house it has a pool over here in the corner let's open up the house though so inside of the house you have your bedroom over here you have a bathroom a little living room in the corner oh i like the little glass wall that's like a little divider okay that's kind of interesting though but also you know in real life i would not want that <laughs> um but over here though you have your kitchen so that's pretty much it for this house okay so now let's go back this way there's a house over here that I don't think that we've seen either. Now, this one looks like the one that we just saw, but I'm just going to open it up just to see. Yep, this one is just like the one we just saw. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and go back over this way. This is where I placed Elliot down at, but his house is completely empty on the inside. So I guess this is one of those houses that you can kind of just build onto if you would like to. There is like some water underneath it, but that's pretty much it for Elliot's house. And then over here, we have another house as well. So let's check this one out. This one looks like the other one that we saw earlier. I'm just going to open it up though 
Yeah, this one is like the same exact house. Okay. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. Again, this world is called Volcano Land. I really like this one. However, I feel like you're going to have to do a little bit of work if you want to play here, like add in some lights to some of the lots and maybe removing some stuff that will cause routing errors. Again, it could just be the fact that when you download it and put it down in your game, sometimes things get moved. It could be because of that. I'm not really too sure though, but I'm going to leave this world linked down below if you want to check it out. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. Video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below, follow me over on Twitch where I stream a lot more of The Sims, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thanks for watching!